Compromises are funny. Oh, hi. This week, we were treated by one of YouTube's most immense scholars to an absolutely brand new theory of truth. Truth is a person, and that person is Jesus Christ. If one were to confuse somebody's character, a person's character, with the truth or falsity of what they're saying, one would have committed an ad hominem. For example, if you think, Jesus Christ is the refreshing, loving Jew, and therefore everything Jesus says is true, to the extent that Jesus is the source of truth, that would be an ad hominem. If one were to confuse somebody's interest within a particular circumstance with the truth of what somebody's saying, then one would have committed what's called a circumstantial ad hominem. If, for example, one suggested, like postmodernists like to, that a particular epistemology or theory of truth even is just ideology in disguise. Can you honestly say that you haven't got an agenda for where you want your knowledge to go? So, not that there's a great deal of doubt, but Jason has managed to confirm the limits of his academic and scholarly abilities. And they're pretty severe limits. Yeah, to be honest, I'm never that comfortable criticising the intellectual presumptions of Jason Burns. It always feels a little bit wrong attacking somebody who might belong on some kind of social services register. So, more to the point, what would I answer if I were asked what is truth? Okay, well, off the top of my head, what is truth? Truth is a semantic axiom. It is of words rather than things. And it's what fits the most basic, semantically recognisable thing we call truth. So it's something like when the grammatical uh, subject obeys the predicate. Something like that. What do I think are truth bearers, statements, all token uses of statements, and most types uh, or instances of types of uh, statements as well. One tiny number of exceptions to deal with the usual objections to statements as truth bearers. What makes truth? Uh, well, this is where uh, correspondence, coherence, and uh, pragmatism finally come into the picture. I, th I have a kind of foundierantist and functionally pragmatic view to verification. So I'm kind of a pluralist when it comes to the makers of truth. Okay, so I'm not a correspondence theorist of truth. I'm not a coherentist, nor am I a pragmatist. These things don't define truth. They're, a, they're together, they're a feature of verification. I'm also a deflationist, yes, but I'm a minimalist deflationist rather than a full-blown redundancy gratuity theorist or a pro-sententialist. This account of truth is entirely naturalistic or naturalizable. So uh, religious arguments like uh, presuppositionalism, including crafty forms of it like Plantinga's evolutionary argument, well, it defeats those. Now, yep, I've just used a lot of big words and I've galloped through that quite quickly. But before I go into more detail, perhaps in further videos as to what I mean about that, I'd like to conduct, conduct, conduct a poll. Quite simply, I'd like to hear what you, my beloved audience, what you think truth is. Thank you for listening. <laughs>